Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our Iron Hammer playthrough where, well, things may not be going well, because as somebody pointed out last time, I missed the, the pop-up for the end game event, which is Lord of the three turns away, and it is the greatest grudge, so I'm, um, why did I feed uh, settlements to the other dwarves? So yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens here with me being a Dowie faction, but I, I suspect I am about to be in major, major trouble. Even bigger trouble than I currently think I'm in. So yeah, uh, it is definitely time to build. Let's get somebody recruited in the Eight Peaks. Let us begin. And let's start recruiting some lovely, lovely troops. Oh, I don't have enough. Outriders will still actually be quite useful because they are that lovely ranged fire. They will give me, and yeah, let's just get recruiting as quickly as possible in my main regions because I suspect I'm going to need it. Um... My we will see what happens in a few turns time or when it happens because I may get troops. I may be the end game. I am the end game. No, no, I suspect the other dwarf factions are going to pop up. I suspect I may get rebel factions next to my capitals. We will see. Um, yes, I will have a defensive alliance with Franzi and his remnants. I guess I'm going to get to crush Azag. I don't know why I'm doing that in an orky voice. Azag the Slaughterer is going to get the slaughtered. Ooh, nice map, actually. Because they're attacking me. They've got quite a lot of high-impact units, which may be able to break through. The main worry is actually that Goblobber. Not that Goblobber, the Catapult. Because it aims... So, we want to use this hill absolutely to my advantage. Because if they can't get around me, that removes a lot of their benefits from some of their units. Thunderous. We demand blood. Oof. The clans unite. Thunderous. Yeah. Okay. So, literally using this, the hill, to our advantage massively here. Long Charge! Oh, god damn, why did I try and move them? Begin. Long beards. Range fast! Range fast! Azag wants to die first, obviously, and yeah. Oh, get my cannons shooting straight at them. I want them taken out as quickly as possible. My ranged will focus on For the ancestor gods. Azag, I'm actually going to move these guys back as a floating force. Of, uh, no, they are going to double up this line here. Quirrellus. Bring them down. Come and hit him Killers. with Dwarf everything. He needs to be dead yesterday. Stay put! Vengeance! Let the 
vengeance begin! Yeah, not doing well enough there. Quarrelers! I, as you command! Kill him! Okay, we're doing good damage to him now. The front line is heavily engaged. Vidawi will will deal with the green tide. That's why I kept multiple here, guys, because the uh, giants will be problematic. Kill him. Okay, he is breaking. Thunderous. I want you guys to Force refocus on the giants. No, you guys can focus well on them. I want to take their ranged out fast now. Let the vengeance begin. Bring them down. Good, he is dead. How's my line doing? My line is okay. We're struggling a little here, so let's take out those snotling pump wagons. Ah, it's the black orc. Let's get my powder units on the Black Orcs. My ranged, my archers can take out their archers. Black Orcs are armoured, so my archers are less useful against them. Let's get the boss man over into them. More to provide a little bit of extra support. It is a reckoning. Good. Hold the line, boys. Hold the line. Right. Murder that giant. It is in the woods. I do know that, guys, which isn't going to be ideal. I'm just keeping fire on these guys as they run to keep them running. Glad I doubled up this flank a bit. It is a reckoning. Right, forward. Range fast. Range fast. Uh, no. those dwarf and legs. They have wronged us. Ranged firepower. Right, all ranged on those black orcs. I don't care if we're doing less damage to them, they need to be down. I will still break through them to a point, just not as much as I'd like. Good. Black Orcs are breaking. Let's hit those Marauder Horsemen. They are cracking. Oh, the damage I'm doing to those Marauder Horsemen is beautiful. There we go. Nice, solid victory. We took out Azag. Uh, again, I kind of want peace. This is where I, there is... I, I'm tempted to try the mod. I, I'm I'm loth to put mods on mid-campaign, but there is a mod I really want to look at, which is No Eternal Wars. And I love the idea of that because... You know, it, it makes sense because even... I, I say even Greenskins. No, Greenskins wouldn't. But it makes, it's it's horrible having factions which just stay at war with you even when they're absolutely outnumbered and don't have a chance. What do you guys think? Do you think that sounds like a good mod? Let me know down in the comments what you think of mods like that. Murder room. Obviously, greenskins should be an eternal war because that's how greenskins are, but... I am Azag is a smart greenskin. Me smart, me wear big helmet. Summon me if you dare. My 
Right. Revenging. So, you got my attention. I would very much like peace. But I'm not gonna get it. Lund's air. Belligar Iron Hammer. Right. Summon me if you dare. Nice, I can now recruit, so let's get them going. This is just to buff, beef up my defences. Let us begin. Time for a reckoning. Oh, I for thought it was... So where? Oh... Sorry, I, I, I desperately want to start recruiting. Um, it is time. Time for a reckoning. My axe thirsts for war. Iron breakers into Let my armies because iron breakers are solid. I know some people have been asking me to recruit other units, and I do I recruit them, but I generally wait until I get to my sort of end game position. Um, before I start putting in things like gyrocopters. I'm going to be honest, I will put some in. I'm not a huge fan of them, but I don't, so I use them a bit, but not huge amounts. Uh, let's get some great swords in. This is just basically building armies as quickly as I can. For the wisdom of Valea. My axe thirsts for war. How is Ikit yes. back? Oh no, he's not back. All he right. never died. Oh, I'm gonna get ambushed there, aren't I? Okay. Let us begin. Just filling my armies up, guys, with whatever I can at the moment, basically. Okay, let's see. Is this it? Which turn was I on? I didn't pay attention. 97 factions left, so... Yeah, but even, I think even the Dowie Holds which have fallen have Dowie emerge from them, Men so. The Empire, what brings you? No. We're about to have a bigger problem. Come on, Karone. You can do it. I mean, annoyingly, I'd have probably dealt with... For Green skins without having to worry about it, though. I'd have had other problems. Oh, look. There come the orcs are coming back. I think I'm just going to have to abandon. I'm going to be honest. I'm very tempted to just abandon the north. Because it's too hard to hold it at the moment. While it's good, there's some good regions there. Holding it is a pain in the butt. Next turn, guys. <laughs> It shall be done. Grudge bearer. Our ancestors would be proud. You have my hammer. Lord of the I'm making my way north, but I'm making my way north through them. True king of eight feet. Oh look, I've leveled up in places I don't really care, in characters I don't really care about anymore. I mean, I care about them, but I don't care about the fact that they're leveled up, if you see what I mean. My axe 
thirst for war. Time for a reckoning. Lord of Clan Borglim. Just grabbing whatever I've smacking can. For the wisdom of the layer. Extra smegging defenses everywhere. He says. No. Let me go. One, one thing which isn't defenses. Oh, whoops, I forgot about this. I'll take it. I use some, lose some slayers. Who cares? I also wipe out their armies. Oh, I don't because he's a C. Okay, so I'll potentially be able to do a bit of unit merging there, which will be good. Um... Step forth, true friend of the Angron. Oh. Well, boo. You're mean. Ending his trade agreement with me? Just, just mean, guys. That's right, where am I? We're all about to have much worse things. I mean, I may actually lose Karak Izor here if they spawn something horrific there, but it's not the end of the world. In fact, potentially beneficial because it will deal with the factions, nasty factions around there. Um, I'm intrigued as to what happens here when I get this as Dowie. I guess we will be seeing. Meep. I think it's next turn. I think it is 110 that's going to happen because it gave me the warning on turn 100. I think. Maybe. We'll see. The thing with this is, is there'll be dwarven factions appearing in places I have no control on, as over, you know, I have no sight of. So ending this endgame crisis will be. I'm calling it an endgame crisis. <laughs> the, I'm calling it the Stellaris term, but yeah, it will be fun. We will see what happens. Oh god, Iron Brow is going to smash into me as well. Honestly, my best bet is that, that Chaos blunts itself on me. Oh, and I lost that settlement again. Again, I, I just think I massively overextended. By my hammer, I should slay. Oh, screw you, bloody elves. Removed, unhappy populace. Okay, so not yet. So 
summon me if you dare. Ready. Aye. Aye. Grudges will be settled. I stand defiant. Go. You can just rip here apart. That is a lot of money. I'm going to loot and occupy for Revenge replenishment, and then I'm going to destroy it. Yes. So, because I'm in a settlement, I get better replenishment. Ready. Basically, that's it. Let us begin by the grudge bearer's will. I want to get back here. I may well lose there, but as I said, I want to be ready for whatever happens for the next. Of Valaya, time for of course, I'm scared. I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm scared, guys. I by my hammer, it will be done. Okay. Oh, I do apologize if you can hear my doggo barking, but dogs bark. Um, no, I'm not doing that at the moment. I, I build up my, build up my upgrade of my outposts in places I think may be declaring war on me. Probably not the best idea. Guess I'm fighting. This close defeat. Um, the giants are the threat. Uh, this is not going to be a fun one. The battle of the high place. I do need to. And this is also partly why I'm folding back because I'm I'm struggling to hold my northern borders against because it's such a a a a, a, a thin expense. Ex uh, thin salient, that's the word. Uh, but it's problematic. Yep, sod it, I am holding the center. Sod the proper things, sod holding the edges, I am holding the center. Quite a small force. Kazook, band of the throng. It is a reckoning. Quarrelers. You guys can be held wherever you're needed.
So I've got a tower there. Right, let's go. Attack! I want you murdering that giant to start with. The clans unite. Move now for the High King. Storm squares. the enemy's melee attack. If anything comes through there, they may not. Okay, looks like they're not, so I'm going to move one of these guys down here to support. Saying that, they seem to be changing their mind a bit. Yes, down. The Ooh, they they got there faster than I was expecting. Yes, All right, let's turn and support. Right, come on, hold. For the High King, will do. Get another tower going. For the ancestors. Right. Kill the giant, kill the giant, kill the giant. need support over Make this side strike. badly actually things are not going well right come on let's see how this goes Withdraw for the ancestor gods. I don't think I got this, guys. We are relentless. I'll phrase it. I don't got this, guys. I don't got this. Okay. Sorry about that. People banging on my door. It's like I'm recording, guys. Understood, Lord. Come on! Move to attack. This is over. I'm gonna double time for a bit, which is a little naughty of me, but I don't see how I can win here. Yeah, this is over, guys. Oh well, never mind. We made them pay for it, though. We made them pay for it quite a lot. So, yeah, I'm very happy with that. Um, I say very heavily. I really didn't. They didn't lose much at all. But they didn't bring much. I'm saying that they did bring a lot. Eh. I'm actually a bit annoyed by that. But we are pulling armies back, we are folding in, and all hell is about to break Step loose, four, I do believe. Two. Yes, we can go to full military alliance. I will take your money. Mm. 
you can also that one what because you yeah. the air of lung? You know what? I'm gonna accept it because I want your gold. Okay. Ally loses outpost. Oh dear, I grudge too fast. Oh dear, it begins. So not around my settlements, but around their settlements, they've got these big armies which have just appeared, which need to be dealt with. And yeah, fun, fun, fun. It is definitely time. Oh, I lose my units as well. Of course I do. That that utterly makes sense. Oh, so some places they do appear. Oh God, I I don't think they are going to survive. My axe thirsts for war. Anyway, this is all stuff for us to work out for next time. <laughs> As always, thank you very much for watching, guys. I do hope you are enjoying this. Please do like and subscribe if you uh, if you are enjoying this content. And as always, an extra special thank you to our channel members and patrons: Monsters Abound, Philip F, Unnamed, Space Ace Four Seven Five, Cody Monster, Jason A, and Jared Horn. Your support really does help the channel. And thank you to everyone else for watching. Cheers, guys.